The Gauteng Department of Education closed down the Milton Park English Foundation Phase Private School in Ivory Park earlier this week. However, when News24 visited the school on Wednesday, it seemed to be business as usual. On Thursday, the department returned to the school and this time with a police escort, shutting down the school with immediate effect. The principal and several staff members who are foreign nationals were taken to the police station. The principal went to the police station with the police. They wanted to verify some of the documentation and um, they decided that they will do that best at the police station. So we could not hinder their process. Uh, so they should be in a position to update us on what is it that they are doing moving forward. Like for instance, we'll have an educator that does not have papers. Working with immigration, they will then have to do their work, you know, uh, looking at the law. A teacher told News24 she suspected the school was bogus, but she couldn't leave because jobs were hard to find. The department said the learners will be enrolled in different schools. There's over 110 learners in this school. And we've already done the assessment in terms of different grades. So our district official will then continue to interact with the neighboring schools to see on where we're going to be placing. So by tomorrow when we interact with parents, we might be saying to them, this certain names of children will be going to this certain school. One parent said he didn't know the school was illegal. In the past, I'm a principal, but I'm a document of the BC Legal Department. And then, I'm a registrar. 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 Gauteng Education spokesperson Steve Mabona urged parents to be cautious when enrolling their children. What we normally put an emphasis on is that schools must be registered. And in that process, there's a, a checklist on what is it that we must have in a school that must be deemed um, a school that can teach learners. You know, like for instance, you look at the building, you look at uh, the curriculum, you look at the, the compliance certificates in a form of um, occupational health and safety because the building must be compliant so that you don't have anything that is going to compromise you.